I go to the store and buy a hawk. A messenger hawk. Um. Or a messenger raven, whichever would be more appropriate. What do they have? You would You would find a hawk well before you would find a raven, just because that's more common. But this is raven roost. Or yeah. raven, whatever the fuck this place was. Roost? Yeah. Oh. Is it roost or a hawk? Yeah, it's roost. I memorized it. it, 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 it. I think. I did a thing. <laughs> Let's see if they have any. What do they have? Just give me that. What do they have? Well, are you going to the standard shops or are you going to the traveling merchants? Uh, both. I would hit up both. Well, which one would you, do you want to go first, to first? The one where I would know where it is. Okay, the, the standard shop. Okay. There's... The three shops, there's the alchemist shop, the journal shop, and then the specialty. What you're wanting is specialty. So. You don't want to accidentally buy a rock again, too, by the way. You're not going to. Good. That was... Stupid? Yes. See, at the time, I was still relatively new. I didn't understand how stupid it is. Now that I know, that was stupid. It, well, I mean, it's not your fault that you no. did because you didn't know. It's Bran's fault because he's like, well, I rolled and that's what you get. Okay, there comes a point Shit. when there's, you don't let it happen. So, why? Because it's a fucking chaos rock. It's, a rock alone, but like, a chaos but, rock. Yeah, it's like a rock already in and of itself in the first place. It's a pretty big deal. When you then throw in uh, the bigger, meaner version of it, it's... Kind of like, what oh the fuck? lordy, lordy, almighty, what have we done? They don't straight up have a hawk, but they have a kestrel. So. The fuck is a kestrel? Oh, I can Google too. How do you spell it? K e s t r e l. I mean, it's a. It's technically it's a type of hawk, but it's a small. Is that all they have? Is a kestrel? I mean, I they have one of those. I know what those are. I don't want one of those. They do have other types of animals and stuff. Uh, they have a couple of other types of birds and stuff, but they're, for what you're wanting and stuff, the only other bird that they, the only other two types of birds that they have that could semi-function the same way is they have pigeons and they have owls. Well, I'm going to head over to the merchants that came to town. Alright, there's two of them. One of them is selling antiquities. And the other one is selling um, specialty. He's selling exotic types of armor and weapons. So I'll put the ones with the armors and weapons first. Doubt I'll be able to buy anything, but I can at least look. I'm trying to find the best messenger birds, and all I get is, Can ravens be messenger birds? Can ravens be messenger birds? Can raven- Listen. I just want to know different types of messenger birds. I don't, I don't, it doesn't have to be raven. 
Oh my god. That and fucking pigeons. Pigeons and ravens. Pigeons because they actually do do it, and ravens because everybody wants them to do it. Like, what the fuck? Come on now. Dutch, I love you. Can birds actually deliver messages? That's probably my favorite one so far. No! <laughs> they sure can't. Who's ever heard of a bird delivering a message? Alright, so what type of armor are you wanting to kind of focus on? Are you wanting to go medium armor, heavy armor, light armor? Let's look at their heavy armor. Alright. The stuff that he has available is he has heavy plate, stone plate, interlocking plate, sectioned armor, that which is a full set mountain plate and if he someone implies that he has a couple of other things of armor too but he's not really sure if you're the kind of person that would want them well does any of the ones on display like have a price tag on them? oh they all have price tags on them so which one are you wanting to particularly... Let's look at the cheapest one. Oh, okay. Because I don't have a lot of money. Oh, it's stone plate. It's only 180 gold. Is there a bearded vulture anywhere? Not because it's good at messengers, just I really just like you. them. Well, <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty They're cool. pretty, so... <laughs> they're pretty cool. Is it what I'm thinking of? Uh, hold on, I have a... On my desktop, actually. Just for such an occasion. Well, no, I, I, well, I mean, I, I know she's on, looked I it quote up unquote before. Saved it, and I think I just threw it on my desktop somewhere. I know she's looked it up before, but I just don't remember if what actually, I'm thinking I think of I is the same. This one. Hold on. I hate these things. These these things. I have to find them. But yeah, the stone mail out of the heavy armors. Well, here's a wicked cool the one. Cheapest one. That's not what it actually looks like, but my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, that's a vulture dragon. I thought that was something else, and I was like, no. You, yeah, no. Do you that's a bearded vulture dragon. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, well, here, I'll roll and see if. Uh, I, don't, I don't. Seven. Is it 70? Uh, yeah. Just it's high enough. The other number didn't actually matter. It's high enough they had. The store owner looks you over for a bit as if he's kind of sizing you up before he steps into the back of the shop and he comes out with... Yeah. They're one of and the few vultures that look more fucking eagle than vulture. It is what I was thinking. He comes out with one, so... Let's see how much it will be worth. I love these. These birds are so metal. They're actually white and they go like bathe their feathers in uh, red dust. They find them in, in earth and whatnot. Oh, okay. Because like, the area they're from is like clay. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, clay dust. Basically, whatever the dirt in the area is, they go bathe their feathers in it. They try to go for the redder the color for mating purposes. Making pot. So technically, as long as they have any colored dust, he'd probably bathe himself in it. But yeah, size. There it is. Mm, big birdie. Big birdie. Pretty big. It's big birdie. Big birdie. Oh, you want to keep that arm? Too bad this demon takes what it wants. <laughs> That's an excellent fucking description. Yeah. Uh, sky demon. It's a hundred and thirty gold. I dropped mad gold. He 
He then gives you the bird. You're oh pointing God, the, I want a dragon version of these things. Oh, yeah. thing. I like that. Mm -hmm. oh, but no. give it that face and that coloration. Oh, but no. so cool. That not happened. Oh, why not? <laughs> because I'm tired of being stupid and giving you guys dragons really early on. <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. Exactly. That's what I always think. But you want to know what happens? You got dragons. Everything goes wrong for me later. What's wrong with that? Grown wise to our game. Good thing Brandon hasn't. <laughs> Fuck, how much was that? I should probably write down the price of it. It was a hundred something. I don't remember the exact amount. It was a hundred. Hundred. Hundred fifty? Hundred sixty? Just ask him again when he comes out. Mm. And I'll forget, and then I'll forget again, and it's it's just it's downward spiral after that. <laughs> I love how eagle-like the vulture looks, though, or this vulture. Do silver weapons count as a masterwork, or is it just a dip uh -huh. in silver? It's literally a dip. <laughs> Forget, there's uh, another thing. I think it's the cold iron that they have to be masterwork. So cold iron counts as masterwork. I think it does. It has to be masterwork in order for it to be cold iron. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. I'm not DM. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I remember one of the things that made bearded vultures so fucking badass. They eat bones. Leave no trace. <laughs> They literally eat bones. <laughs> uh, because they're vultures, we don't necessarily have to worry about feeding them. They'll find their food. It's the lamb vulture. It has a nasty reputation, uh, reputation of carrying away lambs, calves, and even children. <laughs> <laughs> well... It eats mostly bones. Uh, it rubs soil on its feather to give it an intimidating look. That's how they get the coloration. Uh, bright, uh, bright orange coloring is a status of. Uh, that really echoes. It's a status symbol. The coloration. They only breed once a year. They don't usually lay more than three eggs. Hmm. One of the largest old world vultures. They can grow up to four feet tall. <laughs> oh. That's a fucking huge bird. That is, that's almost as big as your parents. <laughs> you know, that's funny. We, we, we got a halfling and say, goblins. I was going to say, it's like this, this bird's known for carrying off small children. <laughs> We have goblins and fucking. Ethan brought in a halfling. Sam brought in a halfling. Brandon and Brandon were bringing them. goblins. <laughs> Don't uh -oh. we still have those two goblins following us? Or did yes. they? Oh yeah, we had buddies, didn't we? Oh, we're gonna have a small little goblin horde, aren't we? Yeah. Sweet. They have a wingspan of seven to nine feet, usually weighing up to ten to fifteen pounds. It's actually really heavy for a bird. Uh, I'm gonna speak to the merchant. Uh, what do you recommend? I'm looking for something that can take a lot of damage. Um, okay. And up the traveling merchants, they're both Holy wrapped shit. heavily in robes and stuff, and both are wearing full face masks. They can live up to 45 years old. That's old. Really old for That's a bird. That's an old, big bird. <laughs> I That's am like really, fearful. That's really old for a bird. Um, he looks, you know, very. To be truthful. What's up? Hey, you okay? I got hit in the face with a branch. Jeez, Jeez. Samuel, what's... You're having, you're a, bad having a hard time today, aren't you? It's going to be a big black eye. Aw. It's okay. I have yeah, a date. I was kind of look cool. What? <laughs> I have a date. So you got into a fight. You have a date tonight? Or... Yeah. Oh, good for you. I'm just going to say that 
happen in the car. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say you can say She's that. She's terrible. I was going to say you could say that me and you got in a fight and you beat me up. She's seen that. pictures of you. She'd be like, why would you punch them? Because <laughs> you figured that you could win. You constantly pick fights with Dad. Yeah, that's his dad's weak. I'm not much oh, better wow. compared to Dad. <laughs> Por- according to former president of the British Honorologist Union, mm-hmm. they make mostly great pets. Oh, neat. Like, not only are they huge and eat small children, but they're great pets. Like, uh, it's, it's a win-win situation all around. <laughs> for those people that want to be just free of the children and stuff, hop out and bring out your vulture. It'll take care of the rest. The but the, pants. the merchant looks you over and says, To be truthful, I would naturally say the most expensive set that I have. If you're truly worried about price, the stone plate does do a fair amount for what it is. The downside is how cumbersome and heavy it is. Because he, le- he lets you have a close look. It legitimately is just essentially big things of stone that are stitched together with metal bars and stuff. So. Hmm. Well, I mean, they, they are enhanced, but it's essentially that's it's not something that looks good. It's not something that it's legitimately just somebody took some rocks, added some properties to them to make the rocks slightly better, and then took metal bars and basically braided the rocks together to make a crude set of armor. And that's why it's as cheap as it is. But, if you're looking for my best set of armor, and it does do the most amount of protection for what it is, Doubt you have the funds for it, though. Well, like, what is your spending range? What are you willing to? Well, unfortunately, I only have two hundred and fifty on me, so I doubt I can afford your most. Oh, then this he kind of shakes his head for a second. It's the only. Su- the only suit that I have that you could afford is the stone. Everything, everything else is in the four to five digit range. So, well, and, I mean to be fair, you only asked for the heavy set. Like there are the medium and light sets as well. Yeah. So he does have other things of armor. It's just in terms of the heavy suits of armor, the only one that you could afford is the stone. As a character thing, I'm probably not going to get the stone because it doesn't yeah. look good. Well, that's why I made sure to say it. That's why I described it so you would know it is. Well, uh, thank you, and perhaps next time you come through, I'll have more on me. Well, he does have weapons and stuff, too, if you want to look through that. It's... I guess I'll take a look. Oh. Let me get to that. Weapons. Oh, how much did my hot cost? I didn't write it down whenever you first said it, so. How much did it cost? Yeah. 130. 130. Oh, it's way less than I thought. Well, that's just for, I mean, the vulture? Yeah. That was just for the vulture. Like, it mm-hmm. didn't come with any of the. Oh, well, I want to grab the stuff as well. One moment while it's loading this. I have the bird, but I don't have the glove to save my own. The falcon ear shit. And the builder. Are you just wearing the bare bones basic? Oh, I'm looking at it. Falcon gear. Notes and writing here for your animal. Uh, ooh. Mas- the gauntlet's only one gold piece, but a masterwork is a hundred gold pieces. Well, that's why I was pulling up because I have the store generator and stuff. They have the gloves, they have the perches, they have. They tend, I mean. You don't really want the mask for it since it's not the same head shape or anything. It would pretty much 
Well, not pretty much. It would not fit over the portrait head because of the different head shape. But um, he has claw extenders, falcon's hood, falcon ears glove, foot firm boots, um, perch for your saddle, Ooh. perch for your shoulder, uh, standing perch, uh, talon tube, training what is, arm. What is this? Can you just send this Store to creator. me so I can do some shopping? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to do some shopping. <laughs> Do you want, well, I can, you can be able to get to that. I was going to say, do you want the general website or just the section? But, I mean, how I would send it to you, you'd yeah. be able to just get to the general website anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he does have, in terms of the, the he does have the masterwork system. Apparently, the masterwork gives it a plus two circumstance bonus. Mm hmm. These aren't the mud buddies that I'm used to. They didn't have it's peanut butter and like brownie and um, cookies and cream. Peanut butter's the best. Cookies and cream, cookies and cream. Mm, yeah. Do 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 <laughs> oh, there. It just took you forever to show up. You could just send it through Steam, man. Yeah. That makes more sense. Steam was already pulled up. Exactly. Here, I thought you two were friends. Yeah. I'd be lost without you, Jill. You pointing out the extremely in your face, I should have known better things. And me just being like, no, I'm going to go. And do the most complicated thing I possibly can. I'm gonna <laughs> add more steps to this. Alright. Uh what type of weapon are you? Uh, the ones I have on me are a long sword, mace, composite long bow. So um uh, since they're ones I'm already familiar with, does you have anything like that? Um uh, I'm sorry, say it again. So. Alright. On me, I have a long sword, a composite longbow, and a heavy mace. Since they're weapons. Yeah, he has similar stuff. I mean, it's. Is there anything particularly that you're wanting to kind of focus mm -hmm. on? I mean, he's trying to narrow it down. Like, the whole thing is, like, he's having to get stuff out of a. Okay, uh. Uh, what kind of slashing weapons does he have? Okay. Are you wanting uh, one-handed or two-handed? Let's go with two-handed since I don't have one. All right. Two-handed. He has slashing two two-bladed sword. He has a long axe. He has. Does he have a halberd? A halberd? Yeah, that's not, that's not even his eyes. No. Well, I, yeah, he, I mean, he I does don't necessarily want to get an exotic because I wouldn't be able to use it. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, the things that he focuses on is exotic stuff. But he does have a halberd, so. so. Let me get to it. Oh, I'm on the long list. Um. That's only ten gold pieces. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's a fairly like it's it's a normal weapon. It's. <laughs> Does he have an? Well, you say he sells exotic weapons. His main focus is exotic. He does have some normal stuff too. But I mean, does his, he happen to have any magical weapons? Most of the exotics that he has have magical properties to it. So. so 
So they would be like strictly in the exotic weapon category. They're not like long swords or anything like that. They're long swords is a martial weapon. So, so you, I was thinking of getting like a magic weapon I could actually use. But if I can't use it, I shouldn't buy it. Like, are you wanting a long sword? I mean, it like I said, it's a martial one-handed weapon. So. Oh yeah, I already have one. I have a silver one. I was just hoping for something magical, but if you didn't have it, then it, oh well. I mean... Oh, I'm not letting you get into that. Um... He does have a couple of different normal weapons that are made out of different materials, if you're interested. But. See, I, I have a silver and I have a cold iron weapon. I don't know if any other materials we might need. So. Well, if you're wanting for long swords, he... Uh, I'll still list them out for you and stuff, so that way you at least know. Or, so, because I mean, I have it set up where like the traveling merchants, they'll occasionally they will cycle through. So I mean, they'll like these guys would eventually show back up and stuff. So you'd be able to. But he has three long swords. One of them is a normal long sword. Nothing really special about it. Then he has a fever iron longsword. What is fever iron? Fever iron is, it weighs the same as steel. It's slightly more durable, but with each successful hit with fever iron, it inflicts one point of fire damage. Hmm. Along with the normal damage it inflicts. So, I mean. Um... The thing I found was a gauntlet, not a glove. Can I get the gauntlet version instead? Yeah. So it doesn't impede my hands. Yeah. What was that? The, the third one. Yeah, you're wanting the master work for it. Yeah. Oh, just so the exact same cost, amount. I was gonna say it's gonna cost an arm and a leg anyways, but I won't raise it any higher. Hmm? What was the third one then? The third one is made out of. Hazakur. What? Hazakur. Hazakur. It inflicts one point of fire and one point of electricity damage with each hit. Mm. It is slightly less durable than almost steel. So. Jesus, dog was the How much does the Hazakur one cost? Hazakur, fifteen hundred. Yeah, Bo- both of them are fifteen hundred. Damn, I was hoping because of the two helmets it would cost more than the. Just the fire one. <laughs> the gauntlet is a hundred. Well, it's oh you know, the simple fact is they cost the most the same because even though Hazard Carry does a little bit extra, it's less durable. Well, by a fair amount, it's it's a fairly soft. I'm just gonna have to wait till later before I can buy any of his, his stuff. Okay. My God, I just spent a lot of money. <laughs> I'm buying Dog Whistle, Saddle Perch, and the Gauntlet, which puts me at 160. Ooh. And how much, like, that's how much you spent or how much you have left? That's how much I spent. I have a lot more left. It's yeah, just, I was gonna I'm, I'm going to stop spending money like I have been. <laughs> I've been like, hey, I'll never run out. I have this many pa- Platinums. And it's like, eh, I don't like spending yeah. money. Though. She I came off a previous adventure where she had all this money. Well, I didn't help that I sold a house. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, here's a better description, just so you know a bit more, better description of stone mill. This armor is made of interlocking stone plates, cunningly carved for both thinness and strength. A layer of crude hide underneath the stone prevents chafing and cushions the impact of blows. Several layers of stone plates hang over a vital area, and most of the armor's 
Weight hangs from the shoulders. The suit includes hide gauntlets and tiny stone plates sewn into them. Stone mail does not violate a druid spiritual. Like that's the main point is because it's basically it's naturally made and stuff. It's not cured or anything. It's a fairly good set of armor that a druid can use. No, well, while, while I am interested in the swords, I just mm-hmm. can't afford it. Yeah. So... I uh, thank him for his time. He nods and understands. Like he. Okay. I would also like to pick up a falconer's book and ask for any tips and tricks from said dude I bought bird from. By the way, I only have one handle animal on this character. He. He does have a book. Unfortunately, he admits that he does not know much about. It. He had just. Basically, been given the bird in a trade and stuff, and he was unaware that it was part of the deal. So oh. he was essentially like he unloaded the bird for a fairly low price, just because he knew he couldn't handle the bird. And this is a traveling vendor, or is this the actual guy? It's is the actual guy, but he deals more in smaller ah. animal, like not the, giant birds of prey. Yeah, it's, I see. He deals with like Reasonable. the owl that he has is the biggest. Type of bird. I that got he this has. bird at a steal, by the way. Yeah. No, I'm. That's why I'm saying he he unloaded it fairly quick. He just he knew he couldn't keep it, and he's like, I might as well get something out. Um, I'm gonna head over to the other merchant. See what the the antiquities. Yeah. Merchant. Just I'm browsing. Just yeah. Also, um, if you want the stats for the vulture. It's for the most part, it's the same as an uh, eagle, except it has it has more HP. It's not considered a small animal. Surprise! Eagle's considered small. An uh, eagle is considered a small animal. You know it's, what? It's not a small animal. Okay. Because <laughs> um, like a eagle is a small animal. Hit uh, hit points. A hit die is one d eight plus one. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want. I'm gonna. I want the book. Uh, how much book cost? He gives you the book. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna read that stuff. Um, I imagine he can't use it with any other thing he has. No, he he can use it with the kestrel. Oh. It's because the kestrel is a type of hawk. It's so. I mean, ah. it's, it's a tiny hawk, but it's, it's still a hawk. Just itty bitty. So. Um, it still eats other birds. We'll say that the vulture, it's a, I mean, it's not a young vulture. It's not old, but it's, it's into adult. We'll say it hit points, it's, I'll let you roll for its hit points. It's, we'll say 2d8 plus 3. You roll a 7. 10. Alright, so... Yeah. Uh, Shut up. (laughs) Shut up! (laughs) It's, um... The majority of its stats are the same. Wait, 10 plus what? 10 plus 3. 3. So 13. Um, but it's damage... Claw extenders! Yep. Actually, I don't know if this place has these. I put... I went from town and put it on large city. (laughs) Oh, no. But it... Claw extenders was in the... List for the one you're in a hollow basically. So. A hop- hamlet, yeah. hamlet, town, village, or no, it's you're hamlet, the village, one. town. Okay, it's the smallest one. It's but it still hamlet. had the clock stickers. So oh, it does. Like why? Why does the village not have them, but the hamlet does? Because hamlet, it tends to be you're roughing it a bit more and stuff. Oh. There's more of a reason for you to have stuff. There's like more this. stuff. Oh no, I have to reshop. Mm. But uh, its initiative is. Plus two. Speed is ten feet when it's moving on its feet. When it's flying, it's eighty feet. <laughs> so it's essentially everything except for the damage will be the same. Uh, oh, well, let's lay it up. That would be helpful. I'm sorry. HP and then damage. Give me the damage, and I'll look up the rest. Damage would be. Who eat bones? I still can't get over that. Who eats bones? It'd be 1d8 plus 2 for its talons, and then 
a d4 for... Picking up beat. your eyeballs. Yep. It's a talon tube. Everything else had definitions but this. Gotta Google. The homescaper. <laughs> Google, what the fuck is a talent tube? Talon tube. That's a tube talon. Got lots of tube talons, not talon tubes. I'm gonna do the scary thing and click images. Well, that's not bad at all. Bongs, I got bongs. What about <laughs> bongs? The most vital thing for a falconer. But, um, right, so that's the wrong list. You go to the antiquities. He. Okay. His supplies seem to be far less. He. He does have like normal items that you would could find really anywhere else, but he also has just some. Um, he has some like sacred gear. He has some scrolls, different pieces of clothing, stuff like that. Oh, it's the actual me- message, like carrying device. Oh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's only, you know, part of it. Um, he does also have certain substances and, like, not, well, I mean, he does, but he's not letting you know that. But he has, (laughs) but he has. But he's not telling you. He has certain, like, trying to think of the alchemical substances, like, for mixing and stuff. I mean, side note, he does have drugs and stuff like that. But uh, he also has other things that he's definitely not telling you. <laughs> like he's making no motion. Like he's yeah. So I'm gonna he can kind of tell what you are. So I mean, I'm gonna pick up also get... on top of the stuff a talent tube for three gold and a lure for fifteen. Okay, lure will help get my bird and help train apparently. And get their attention, should I need it. And they're flying somewhere. And it'd be all like, oh, I'm gonna go over there now. Word. So what exactly are you um, browsing through for him? Because again, like, they have carriages. This guy has a much bigger carriage. So you can tell he's carrying other stuff. But it's... Well, I'm saying they don't just bring everything out. They... Yeah. Um, does he have like um, any nice looking paperwork? I want to work on my penmanship. Like parchment and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can get that at a normal store, though. You're a paladin trying to be a freaking bookkeeper. Now, are you wanting. Um, Today's weather in Shadow Day. Hmm. Are you wanting parchment or are you wanting just paper? Um, there is a difference in price. I'll take some an expensive of those. difference. One the price is on the other for because I was working on map or it was the map. Oh well he has canvas as well, so um, I should. No, which there's a big difference then. So yeah. it's paper is the cheapest. You can get paper for well, next to nothing. Parchment get, is fairly expensive and stuff. I would get the paper to practice and the canvas for the final product. All right. The, how many things of paper do you want? Um, what would be a normal buying amount? Like 20? Sure. It's like he's not going to. No canvas. It's I'm sorry. And I said it wrong. Canvas is actually the middle ground. It's paper canvas and then parchment. So 
paper, you can get you could get like a hundred pieces of paper from him for a silver. And that's him upping the prices. Like that's he's traveling, he's gonna up the prices. And what about the uh, canvas? Canvas is per per yard of canvas, it's one silver piece. He has eight yards, so I'll just take a one yard of canvas, All right. hundred sheets of paper, and uh, you're gonna need ink and measuring tools. Okay, so. The okay for everything that you're wanting, two silver. You might it's just you're not really asking for anything worthwhile. It's more effort for him to try and actually figure out the price than it is for him to just. There's the thing I want. I can't afford. So just gotta wait till I have enough money. What's the weather like in this area? Right now, or in general? One, yeah, in general, but right now, too. It's... It, it would be similar to, like, what we have here. It's not as much rain spells and stuff, but, I mean, it's... Like I said, it's fairly close to, like, the general weather that we have around here. What's wrong? You just said something. Oh, you are cold. <laughs> You're always cold. What's new? I am death. Hmm? Moat with bridge. Huge castle. Yep. Well, these seems like things I need to buy. Yeah. Dude, it's something we could buy. No, we can't. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> I was going to say, not right now, we can't. Not well, I mean, we can, we can. Line. I didn't say right this second. You can eventually earn one. Remember, we, we I said one. We can buy two. the moat with the bridge, but we cannot buy the thing <laughs> that it goes around. <laughs> well, that's how you get it. So if you buy the moat and the bridge that's already around the castle, and, and, we, charge, and then, <laughs> we charge them for leaving the castle. And then you, once they're gone, you just make sure that the bridge is brought up when they try to come back home and say, no. Uh, you need to pay the toll. <laughs> Just start doing that around everybody's house. <laughs> well, hey, you already we saw own the somebody moat. try to do that. Remember, it was uh, the two who did say. Yeah, but we we will have a better established. We have this moat that already. Well, they it's had a, a they had a wall already put up. They just didn't get it around the hole. Looked like they were putting together a wall. Well, we lit it on fire, so it's fine. No, now they're didn't. putting together. You let a wall. their shit on fire. You let a lot of stuff on fire. You didn't see nothing. They sure didn't. Beep. 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 Oh my god. Beep. Beep 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 beep. No. Beep 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 beep. Magic trick of combat. But uh... What, what from the antiquities? The oh, other what time of season is it? I forgot to ask that. Uh, it's spring. Spring? Ew. It's going to be summer now. Gross. I mean, is there like a list I can look at of just the things he has? Like, it just makes it easier instead of asking for everything. No. Like, it's one of those things where it's I have to look up, like, See I have it on the chart. And it's, like, I have a big chart, but it's. Hot suit? Oh, heat suit. Well, still. That's still pretty hot. So. <laughs> still. Uh, I'm just going to say no for now because I don't know what I would even be able to buy or if there's anything I want or need. Okay. The H5. Save your money, man. Got to get that sword that does one point of fire damage. Ooh. Oh, he had other materials, just the long swords. That's the only materials that he had. Sure, I can't afford those either. As for you, are you gonna go to the traveling merchants or? You, uh, like I said, there's the antiquities and the exotic. You know, 
Uh, anyone birds? Any birds? Um, no, if I want more birds, I just want information. <laughs> between the two, that antiquities guy would be the one that probably would more than likely have something. I uh, should go there. Now I have to figure out if he I want smaller has birds something. Be the bigger bird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, what exactly are you, like, wanting in terms of birds? Like, I'm not looking for, like, I'm, I know you're for not looking a for bird. birds. I'm looking for training for birds. Uh, any any information, uh, tips and tricks, maybe another book if necessary. Oh, um, let's see. Because I know people I that move around probably horses. have more falconer information than people who are stationary. Um... I mean, he has a couple books, and he has things like for to help assist with like grooming and stuff for certain birds. It's, he doesn't have necessarily much in the knowledge of it, at least not this type of bird. So again, this is. A fairly unique bird, especially for the area that you're in. So. Well, for everything, I feel like they're just uh, vultures are actually yeah. fairly intelligent and trainable. They just yeah. they're vultures. Yeah, <laughs> they're a big ass bird. So I mean, or at least the ones you normally think of are. So. I can adopt one. I'm gonna throw that out there. Like from the from the zoo, or because you probably could do that from the zoo if they have the vulture. No, I mean as in. Oh, actually. They're they're actually if they're pretty, so therefore they're actually fairly common for falconry. Put it on that list of things you'll have when you eventually have the house. No, fuck no. I don't want bird that can eat bones. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> Especially one that eats lambs. I want lambs. Um, <laughs> They'll fucking eat my lambs. The, oh, shit, man. The dealer does like it.